How's everybody doing? I, uh, well, I got a question before we get started. Who the hell is this Robert Z guy? He gives us a contest assignment, and then he tells us to relax. We shouldn't worry about doing contest assignments or anything. Just go off and enjoy ourselves doing something else. Then he turns around and says he wants us to make videos talking about what else we do. Well, I'll tell you what, Robert, making the videos is stressing me out about as much as anything right now. But here is even the last step. After he tells us to relax, then make a video, then he bitches about us not entering his contest. What the heck? Anyway, whoever you are, Robert, I'm just giving you a hard time. And uh, this video is going to answer your Mount Rushmore question. And I kind of had fun with this, actually. I went off in a bunch of different directions. So just chill out. I'll get to my Mount Rushmore here in a minute. But uh, I'm going to read off some other ones I came off with. And I'm putting my glasses on so I can read. Um, and uh, I know there's purple spots on them, and I don't know what to do about it yet. So just bear with me on that one. All right. So, first of all, you know, Mount Rushmore is this public place, and, uh, um, well, I guess, I guess the presidents were picked specifically because of a timing issue. I mean, I don't know if Theodore Roosevelt is there, other than he's making uh, national parks and so on, and he's a big outdoors guy. Um, but be that as it may, uh, I think, you know, Mount Rushmore kind of is a popularity contest um, and uh, so I, I thought musically one of the first things I had to do is come up with Mount Rushmore's of public perception how about that Mount Rushmore of public musical perception um, so I went ahead and did that first before doing my own and here's what I came up with that way so if you got a male popular opinion Mount Rushmore. I'm going to say that should be Frank Sinatra, Elvis Presley, Freddie Mercury, and Robert Plant. Now, keep in mind, I'm, I'm, I'm limiting this to, you know, popular music, I guess, uh, if you want to call it that. I know there's uh, other musical styles, opera and uh, classical and so on, that certainly aren't reflected in this, but I don't know anything about them. And from what I'm seeing, I don't think most of the VC community does either. So, so this is, this is from a pop perspective. Again, the male ones are Frank Sinatra, Elvis Presley, Freddie Mercury, and Robert Plant. That's who I'd say the public would go for. So on the female side of public, I'm going to say it would be Patsy Cline, Barbara Streisand, Ella Fitzgerald, and Janis Joplin. That kind of gives you a wide array, um, but I think, uh, I think probably a lot of people could agree with that one. Okay, so now we get down to personal lists, and this is my male personal list. It would be Dean Martin, Chris Isaacs, Chet Baker, and Dwight Yoakam. Um, yeah, I'm kind of strange. <laughs> okay, and if we go my personal choice as far as female voices, female singers, I'd go Patsy Cline, Melody Gardot, Mama Cass Elliot, and Roberta Flack. So, yeah, basically Patsy Cline is the one that uh, I go with in popular opinion, and I think she's one of the best female singers we've ever had. So now, just to, you know, get people kind of wound up a little bit, um, um, maybe do a little bit of trolling here, I came up with a list of uh, the voices that I like least, that are like nails on a chalkboard. Maybe if I do a Mount Rushmore of these, it would be from a rear end view rather than the heads. Um, so here's who would be on my list that way. We'd have Getty Lee, number one. 
that guy, I don't know. He sounds like he's a scalded cat half the time, and lots of people love it. I don't get it. Not a Getty Lee fan. Uh, Barbara Streisand. You know, I don't, I don't know if it has to do with Barbara's voice so much. It's just, God, everybody acts like she's all that. And, uh, you know, including herself, as far as I'm concerned. She seems to be pretty full of herself, too. So, I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of over it. Never really was on the bandwagon to start with. Um, <laughs> another one, a uh, voice that... Actually, this one kind of is so bad it's lovable. That's Neil Young. I mean, uh, I, I'll, I'll give him this. Anybody who can sound like that and still think they can sing is amazing. Uh, but then he is an amazing man in a lot of different ways. Um, finally, another one that's popular that doesn't make my list as far as good um, or as far as one I want to listen to is Billie Holiday. Uh uh, again, it's it. I, I recognize she's one of the greats, uh, but uh, if you ask me, that's not a voice I want to listen to. All right, so my last list here, and this one, this is the where I spent the most time. I was trying to come up with who would be um, on a today's list. Uh, who's hot today? Who would I put on it? And I couldn't do it. I could not do it. I wrote down some names, uh, uh, Brittany Howard, Sam Smith, Lady Gaga, Ken, Kendrick Lamar, John Legend. You know, I'm sure people would put Beyonce on there and um, who knows who else. But honestly, my thing, and you, you'll hear me talk about this over and over again, is we don't have any idea today what people sound like. We don't know... Um, who's a good singer and who's not, because so much of it is done in post-production. Um, the only one that I'm aware of, well, and the second thing is I don't really know a lot of the uh, modern singers, so I don't listen to pop because of the first thing, because I don't trust what I'm hearing, I don't know what I'm hearing, and uh, I don't like it. Um, but from the little bit, I do know the only one I would put on the list is Lady Gaga. I'm pretty convinced she knows how to sing and sing super well. Uh, so, yeah, Lady Gaga I'd put on a modern day list, but honestly, I don't know where else I would turn after that. So, Robert, here you go. My first homework assignment done. And we'll move on from there. Everybody have a good day. Bye. The album's name is Painted Image.